Hello and welcome Hello. to the show. Uh, we have another podcast for you today and we are on test drive. We are at Ibiza this time around uh, with some very cool supercars. Uh, I'm driving the SLS, Daniel is in the McLaren and uh, I'm going to be following Ooh. Daniel because I can't bother to fight the GPS. So if we get lost, it's, it's never good. Uh, no, it's never the cleverest idea. So um, yeah, we've, we're starting <laughs> off by by one of the many houses. Uh, I'm actually quite enjoying this game now. Is connections actually work? They function properly. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure the last update they managed to fix the um, up the, the fix the connections, and it's done. It, it makes the game more, it makes the game more enjoyable because you're not worrying about every five seconds about disconnecting with your mates when you have a drive. Yeah, the, when it came out, for those of you who played this game when it first came out, it was atrocious. It was atrocious. You would go like two minutes before it disconnects everybody, but it is currently working. Uh, I am going to be filming again uh, from a very, very noisy Mercedes. Um, so yeah, I'm afraid you're going to have the view of the back of my car because that's all we can do on test drive. <laughs> uh, but the chances are a lot of you won't be paying much attention to the, what's going on the screen. You're, you're just here to listen to us ramble on and talk about random crap. I thought we were supposed to be cruising and we're already doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah, I should, uh, I should slow down a little bit. I'm going to try and limit, um, limit myself to about 80 everywhere because last <laughs> no, time we yeah. tried to do well last time we did it we just ended up going 150 and we Big do it crash. for about half a mile and there'll be a massive crash yeah so anyway uh on to the topic moving on the questions yeah this this one's been asked so many times uh we actually kind of talked about the origins of fail race before a very well i don't know how long ago it was uh we did a question and answer kind of thing uh, a while back we talked about it then like a left but uh, uh we're going left okay uh, it is left this time. You don't actually mean right. Um, no, left. Um, definitely maybe left. a little bit. Oh, there's a car. Oof. Since when did you stop for cars in games? Uh, anyway, yes. The, uh, <laughs> the origins of the Fail road. Race uh, and how we met and everything. It all started, oh god, how many years ago? Two, three years ago? Two, three years ago. Uh, basically, I, I'd had the idea. I wondered uh, if you could do like a Top Gear kind of challenges and that sort of thing on Forza. At the time, uh, Forza 4 wasn't out. Forza 4 was sort, of, was sort of like a couple of months away from the launch of Forza 4, so we knew quite a lot about it. Um, uh, and I was going to kind of wait until Forza 4 came out before I tried anything. I did have a capture card at this point. I think I'd made a couple of... I, I think a I thought USB last time. capture card. I had a horrible. terribly old USB capture card. It was atrocious. But it wasn't atrocious. It worked. It was just pretty poor. Um, as I said last last week, I made I think I made some Halo videos with it, whatever. And I was thinking about doing doing this on on four or doing this sort of Top Gear style thing on Forza, do some challenges and that kind of thing. But I was going to wait until Forza Four came out, uh, and then I think it was a couple of weeks later. I was looking through the forums uh, on on the Forza Motorsport website, and there was somebody was looking for a team to do a challenge or to do like a video of a challenge. And since I had a capture card, I signed up to uh, be the cameraman. And Daniel had signed up to be one of the presenters, I think, if I remember. Correctly. I think it was a presenter, yes. Yeah, I think. Oh no, it was the Stig. That was who I signed up for. To be. Oh, did you sign up to do the, do the Stig drive? Yeah, I signed I up to be remember. the Stig. Yes. Yeah. Um, so. God, that was ages yeah, ago. We we tried. To, we well, we had like one evening where we tried to get it to work, and it didn't work at all, and we promptly it gave didn't up. Work. <laughs> you were so unorganised and messed, and we, we, it didn't work. So we, nothing ever came to it. But um, me and Daniel stayed in touch because we were very fast racers, um, and the sort of the championships we ended up we racing were, in, we just raced we against to each race other a lot. And yeah, we left yeah. everyone pretty much for dead. Um, back in the yeah, fours of three we were days, really quick. Yeah, fours of three. I, I can't remember who we raced with. Um, we raced with a load of championships, and we were always up there. And it was good fun. That was yeah, like I said, that was the reason why we stayed in touch because. We'd, like, we'd just say to each other, oh yeah, there's a race championship, do you want to do it in a team with me or something? And that was just pretty much how we worked for about three or four months. Yeah, ba yeah basically we, we would just race in series and the kind of thing off the forums, off pe or people we know who'd run series, and we would do that kind of thing. And we'd normally do fairly well. And because we were so evenly yeah. matched in skill-wise, it was always interesting racing, it was always close racing. And um, so yeah, that we did that for a few months. And then, in fact, then I had the idea of, in fact, the whole reason why this is called Fail Race. Uh, I was watching Fails of the Week. Uh, it is a show done by the Rooster Teeth channel. Basically, silly stuff happens in Halo 4, and some people laugh at it in the video. <laughs> it is it's it's really, list. very good fun. It's still one of my favourite YouTube series, is, even if they've done, they've done like 150 odd episodes, and you've probably seen most of the fails uh, already, but it's still fantastic. That was a terrible overtaking there. 
I saw that. I really don't want to be in a car with you. No, I didn't do a driving test. You just pushed him straight off the road. Uh, anyway, yeah, fails of the week. Um, yeah, I watched fails of the week. I thought that was a fantastic show. But of course, that's all just fails from Halo. I wondered if we could do something similar on Forza, uh, which is why we're called this channel Fail Race. That was the initial idea. Um, but of course, whenever you start something on YouTube, you, it's a long, painful process of uh, <laughs> going anywhere. So I'm sure some people yeah. who are watching this will know. Uh, it takes forever. And it, it wasn't particularly successful, but then st try to start anything on YouTube, unless you get like incredibly, insanely lucky, you know, it's probably never going to be. Um, yeah, there's so been very few people that are that lucky. Yeah, you don't just do one video and suddenly it's fantastic. Well, it is very unlikely anyway. I guess someone might have. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that's the origin of the name Fail Race, and that's, that was our first Forza stuff, uh, I think. And then I had a couple of stuff on, I did a couple of things on Test Drive, I think. Um, because we also had the. Oh, oh you did the Money Making Guide and Can the Veyron SS be beaten? Yeah. Um, Again, we were still toying with the idea of doing... Once we did the, the fail race thing, we were toying with the idea of doing a Top gear -y kind of thing again. Um, this time, we were going to wait until Test Drive came out and see if we could do it on there because it was all open worldy uh, and we'd heard rumors you'd get It would have been out. awesome. Yeah, it would have been awesome. We heard rumors you'd get out of your car and stuff, uh, which you can do in places on here. Unfortunately, you can't just park up and sort of walk about. Otherwise, that'd be very <laughs> that'd cool be really good, actually. That'd be, that'd be really <laughs> tractor. good for filming. Ooh, oh, that was a little... Sorry, I want to see a tractor. direction. Go on, look at the low res tractor. <laughs> that's that's incredible. Ah oh dear. Um, so yeah, that's the, like GT2 it, graphics. That is, as a fantastic tractor. Um, anyway, <laughs> right, yeah. Moving on. So so all the first gear, all the challenge, that Ugh. kind of thing. <laughs> going to Grass going cutting. To flower field. There we go. Um, oh dear. Oh, oh, for God's sake. All of the first gear so challenges Carol. were kind of planned to end up in test drive because uh, we could do kind yeah. of a, a fair amount more uh, with the, with the open worldness of the game. Of course, when it was released, uh, the servers were terrible and absolutely and atrocious in every way. <laughs> yeah, you, you honestly couldn't stay connected <laughs> to somebody you wanted to stay connected to for more than a couple of minutes, and you had to be within like a couple of miles of them. Otherwise, it just threw you out in a different lobby. Um, so yeah, that that was terrible. That never worked. Um, and so that plan was kind of scrapped. Even if it had worked, we wouldn't have done it anyway because the car handling is a bit wonky. It's perfectly drivable. It's kind of good fun. But uh, when you're actually pushing the car seriously, it's, no, yeah, it's, it's too it unpredictable. Work, right? It wasn't. Uh, it just wasn't fun to drive when you were racing, especially online, which made it worse. Oh yeah, on online on here, uh, it was basically dominated by Veyron SSs. Uh, nothing could even uh. get near it on the most part. I, I think the Atom could, with a very skilled driver, uh, driving an Atom could keep yeah. up. But the, the SS, you could just boot it everywhere because it was four-wheel drive, never had any wheel spin. Uh, if, if if you did like an off-road race because Tunnel. it was four-wheel drive, it would still be able to win. Oh, this is going to be good. Uh, here we go. I'll stop talking. Okay. Yeah, tunnel. I may have had a big crash. <laughs> Uh, that SLS sounds amazing. I love the I love the engine in this thing. Anyway, I can't remember what we were talking about. Now we got distracted by a tunnel. We're so <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we did. We were talking about it's servers, Ooh, it's useless cold. servers on servers, here. Servers, the Veyron won everything basically, and that was kind of the um, much. I, I did a video on how on basically I was very silly. Try well, I, I was kind of serious to start with, just testing cars, seeing if they could just beat the Veyron. Up being stupid. And then I took a Jeep and shortcutted half the track. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that was kind of like the first I guess, is challenge. The first challenge we ever did is probably that one. Um, well, I wasn't actually. You weren't in uh, that. Um, I went in. I went in that. We were talking still, but all we, all we, all we were doing at that time were just racing in championships. We weren't actually yeah. doing videos together at that time. We were debating it. Um, I think you tried them two videos as a test to see if it would work or not, and they went all right. I mean, yeah. for, for the first videos you did, they were pretty decent. Yeah, for yeah, for what they were, they they went down pretty well. Um, and then I can't. Remember, I think we did a. Did we do race? We tried to do sort of uh, race series videos. I can't quite remember the order it's gone in now. But um, uh, yeah, then we V8 supercars. We did, we did some V8 I think supercars. We tried to do V8 supercars. We did V8 supercars. Uh, that went okay. And then we started in the in the first gear, uh, the, the first gear videos. Um, the name first gear for those of you who are wondering 
was it was actually Daniel's idea. Um, yeah, it was just literally I a case we of did. we need a name, uh, and then Daniel yeah. came up with first gear, and we used it because we thought it'd be a yeah, kind of funny. It was it was weird how it was weird how it worked because well, I think it was after we did the fail race episode no fail race episode two an, al an alternative snipe an alternative video to sniper montages <laughs> or something like that. And he just said, and he just like, oh yeah, ooh, got this color, ooh, there's another color, ooh. Oh, well done. <laughs> Sorry, come on. move, move. So yeah, there was um, lots of, well, there wasn't, it was just literally we said, yes, Alex went, we need a name, and I just plucked out the top of my head first gear. I merely thought of Top Gear and thought, let's take the piss out of that. Yeah, it's just kind of a parody <laughs> of Top Gear it was. and Fifth Gear, and yeah, <laughs> it's kind of stuck and now. Hence where first gear came from yeah so that's that's where the name of that comes from um and then yeah we tried some challenges and it, it kind of worked and it, it went like that for a while because the problem was we were both fairly busy with school and sick form and i can't even remember what i was doing um you were <laughs> uh, you were i think i was were you were a sixth form ooh, yeah you're i think at that form. point uh, for the americans was... you're not going to understand what that means um so sorry oh, yeah. about um, that uh, but uh, yeah we were at school <laughs> put it that way yeah, basically, we were, st um, we were still at school, and we were both busy with exams and that kind of thing, so we, we did like a video maybe once a week, sometimes. We'd take sort of large gaps uh, in between making yeah. them, because we were busy, and I still had a terribly useless, unreliable capture card, and I hate the early videos with the terrible microphones, the terrible video quality, because it looks so awful uh, compared to the stuff that we do now. But um, yeah, you've got to start somewhere. And it, it, people people started to like it. There might still be some of you watching this who remember watching the early episodes. I think I recognise a few names in the comment sections occasionally from the very early videos. But um, yeah, there's... He's stopping for a traffic jam. Oh, well done. Well done. Um, but yeah, that, that was kind of where it started <laughs> and kind of took it from there. And it went like that for probably a year where not much Must really been happened. About I mean, we, we would no. do videos... We would try to be fairly regular with the videos, um, and but stuff got in the way, and we stuff, ended up yeah. not bothering. Pretty much. Um, so yeah, it was about like a video a week at best. If, if on a good week we'd have a video up, <laughs> on a good uh, we'd have maybe two <laughs> if we were lucky. Maybe yeah, but there'd be sort of months gap where we didn't problem, really problem do anything. Problem is now it's uh, I, this is sort of going. I can feel this is going to start going back to because obviously Alex now. This is pretty much well. This is his job. He makes YouTube videos. That is his thing. Well, I have a part-time <laughs> job myself. But the problem is, I'm now going back to A level. I would have been back at sixth form. I think uh, about three or four days before three or four days when you watch this video, I would have been back at school three or four days, and my would my mind will explode because I've got so <laughs> much to do. Yeah, and it's just going to be. I can foresee it being very confusing and complicated. Well, basically what's going to happen is there is potential for there to be less videos with Daniel in, uh, at least to begin with, uh, while he sorts out... So I get into a rhythm of yeah, what we can do. I would hope we will have two challenges a week. Uh, the, the Monday and Wednesday's challenges hopefully will, if maybe even they with Daniel not talking, it should they'll still continue. Um, they might not have Daniel talking in them, we'll still do the driving and everything for them. So, yeah. That could be a little bit of a little bit of a an issue, but um, we'll we'll come to that where, <laughs> when it happens. Hopefully, things won't yeah. change too much. Yeah. But, can um, I just pull over and change my batteries in my controller quick? Yes, you can. Uh, I shall because admire the windmill. I can't hear you at all because you're just okay. <laughs> breaking up atrociously. Um, yeah, right. we can still talk. Obviously, I just need to change the batteries. All right. Uh, so yeah, Daniel can go talk and change batteries. I shall look at a windmill. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> things that happened like that for for a while. It went on like that, and then kind of at the end of the the end of was it the last second year we year? well a year and a half ago? Yeah, it was December time. We decided. I, I basically hated college, and I'd had enough of college, and uh, I wasn't really sure what to do. And by that time, we were starting to take things. That, well, we were being more regular with videos. It was sort of being like yeah, two things or were three actually a picking then. up a little bit. Um, yeah, things things were starting I to pick up. We still weren't getting fantastic amount of, of views no, and stuff I mean, like that, but it, we it were was, taking it more seriously. Yeah, it was still very kind of early on, and and yeah, we were kind of being more regular with the videos. And Machinima UK was launching uh, in January, but I, I kind of started hearing about it in sort of November. Uh, and I submitted one of our videos. I think it was a parallel parking challenge 
thing that we did. I submitted one of our videos to them and the guy came back and said yeah that they wanted to use it. So if you look at Machinima UK, one of the very, very early videos is uh, right. one that we made. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. We can set off again. Yep. <laughs> just just a toilet break that. there for the McLaren. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, come, I think this was December last year, uh, things were starting to kind of pick up. We were starting to kind of produce a lot more videos and I don't, it's very hard YouTube stuff, how, how YouTube stuff works. Like how, how people find There's a massive item. element of luck. Yeah, there is a huge element of luck. I think we owe a lot of our success to Mr. Aero HD. I'm going to say a thank you to him. Yes. Because I know he we watched our videos. He subscribed to our videos very... We had like, I think it was like 150 or something subscribers when he started watching our stuff. Um, so that helped us no end, I would imagine. Also, uh, we had a video featured in a Forza Motorsport article thing. Uh, on their website. I remember that. Uh, it was... It was the Race to the Festival. Remember. That was the one that was featured. That was featured. it. Race into... Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> You're not having the best of luck. Uh, yeah, we had that no. featured in the in the Forza article, and I think that helped a lot as well. And then things started yeah. to grow uh, faster. I think it was and, yeah, as, February as this Daniels, year. Yeah, kind of February. Well, I think it, it is February this year we had 500 subscribers. It absolutely uh, went haywire. <laughs> and at the time we were recording this, we, we have 14,000. We have nearly 14,000. In fact, by the time this goes that's out, just, we might actually have 14,000. That's that's um, an incredible amount. It's stupid. Yeah. yeah. I, I have no idea how it works. So people who <laughs> no ask idea. us, how, yes. how, did you, how did you kind of get to this stage? I don't have a clue. No um, one knows. It, it, we will never it's kind know. Of, it's kind of luck and a bit of help from, from other people. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still very small compared to a, compared to a lot of channels, but things are going yeah. well. Um, things are going well for us at the moment. Um, and yeah, as Daniel said, I this isn't really a job in the fact that it doesn't really make any money to count as a job, but I do this full time at the moment um, because I kind of have to. If, if things are going to keep going, hopefully at some point it will be. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There, there's a number of reasons why I really don't want to get into them because trust me, you don't want to hear. Um, but yes, I, I kind of spend <laughs> most of my time doing this. It takes an awful long time doing all the editing and organizing. Uh, a lot of the stuff that takes the time you don't see, kind of setting stuff up, getting things to work, getting computers to work. God damn it, I hate my computer. Yeah. Um, Xbox, internet is a big one. <laughs> oh yeah, waiting for Daniel's internet to do stuff. That's another problem. That's that 90% face. of the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, we. <laughs> there's a lot of issues doing things the way that we do since we live so far away. Um, yeah. We have to send all that the recordings also another problem. over the internet. Uh, I'm yeah. going to do a making of video at some point, and we'll go into much more detail of how stuff is made because that's really long and complicated. And I tried to explain it in one of the se in one of the challenges videos, and I failed terribly because I tried to explain it in 30 seconds, and you really can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's far more complicated. And um, so, yeah, I think we've covered almost have everything. We, have we covered that. Oh, one question I did see um, that I thought was a very interesting question is what video uh, has been the most fun to film? Not sort of our favourite video, but what video has been the most fun to um, film? This kind of is the favourite video, but um, yeah, that's an interesting question. Uh, I don't know. Do you have an answer or are you going we've to We've done so many videos. We've done an awful lot of videos. Um, I reckon what we should do, we should say our best, our f most favourite video of filming just in f on Forza, so the first kit, and then our... Yeah other filming on different games. I think for the different games will be Dead Rising. Yeah, for sure. No the question. second Dead Rising that's video. The best film. I, that is funny that's, There was huge amounts of fun to film. And I know not a huge amount of you, well, I say not a huge amount of you, probably half of the sort of people who normally watch our videos watch the Dead Rising ones. I really recommend you do. Um, they are, they're huge amounts of fun for us to film, so I, I suspect they're quite funny for you guys to watch. The people who watch it seem to enjoy it. Um, that, that was fantastic fun to film. Very silly. That was there was awesome. even some racing to please the car. For, there um, was well, some trike um, bicycle. Oh, good God. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> the McLaren's gone to visit the scenery. Um, oh, good. What was that? Oh, well, ignore that. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, yeah, so for... For the, for the non-Forza stuff, it, for both of us, it's got to be Dead Rising. McLaren's had another spin. Um, for yep. the Forza stuff... It's too powerful. That is a really tough question. What's been the most um, fun to film? I Personally, I still think the most fun one to film was the very first setup challenge we did. The very first jelly car that we oh, ever Oh, the very drove. first jelly car. <laughs> yeah, because we never we never knew what was going to we, happen. We, we weren't expecting that one. it. Uh, it was literally a case of somebody uh, on my friends list sent me a message saying, here's a Jeep, I challenge you to drive a lap of the Nürburgring without rolling it. Um, and we made a video of it. 
neither of us yep. knew what to expect. Neither of us had ever seen that kind of car before on Forza. Um, and yeah, that was genuinely uh, a surprise. <laughs> and that was yeah, very, that very was a big shock. Uh, I'm trying to think. It was fantastic. Stuff. It was just amazing fun to do. Yeah, it's not the like when we compare that car now to some of the stuff that we get given. Some of the jelly cars we've had later on, uh, the Transit that we had recently that springs to mind. Uh, <laughs> oh God, what was it? The Land Rovers as well that were much more. Yeah, silly Land Rovers. The it's not Raptor. The Raptor was worse than that. It's not. It's not as bad to drive as any of them. Um, it, it doesn't fall over as easily as them. But uh, it was just the fact that it was the first one it was we just, ever seen. It was different. It was, uh, yeah, it was something different, and it was a genuine surprise uh, when, when we came to kind of do the filming for that one. Um, I think uh, also I, th I really enjoyed the blind driving one. Yes, that was quite. That was well, fun. for me, that was uh, there wasn't a huge amount. I that was didn't really know what for was you. going on. I, I just heard noise uh, coming through my computer. On I use a Happowidge HD PVR. There we go, and that has a slight delay between what goes on on the Xbox and what gets displayed on the computer screen. I'd minimised the computer screen, so I wasn't watching that. I couldn't see that, but I could hear it because I could hear on a delay. Uh, so that was kind of yeah, very weird doing that. And that's pretty good fun as well. I'm trying, there's so much, so many. Uh, so many we've done videos. so. We can't. We can't properly give a definitive one that yeah. we favourite because there's just some been of so racing, many that we've done. Some of the racing stuff. Uh, we've had really, really good races. Oh, was it the Vauxhall Corsa? Yeah, there was a Corsa uh, round race one. That was awesome. That was some really good racing. There's a, a couple of Civics that um, we raced for insanely. Oh yeah, that was another championship. Um, that was before that, first gear. That was I don't know. That was no, that, that was, was an early fourth. That was video. after. Uh, yeah. It was after the start of first game, but it was a very early video we did. Um, Go left yeah, here. there's there's been some some really good enjoyable racing. Um, yeah, I, I, there's so many. I think, think I would go that? for the first jelly car um, as uh, probably would be my favourite. Mm. I think I can't um, give an answer. I just I just <laughs> like so many of the ones we've done. There's, there's too many ums and ahs going on. There is. Um, one thing that uh, I'm going to talk about, actually, um, in relation to our videos, is will it roll? That very nearly never happened. In fact, that video... That was on a whim. Basically, what happened was Machinima UK was looking for series to run on their channel, and I kind of came up with this idea. I don't know why we stopped. Why we stop? Oh, there's a police car. That's why we stopped. Whoopsie. Oh, now you crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm, I... Come on. Oh, I'm bored. Come on. Um, basically, I was kind of thinking, well, what make, what's the in most exciting thing about racing? And the thing that most people end up watching is the crashing. So I kind of remembered how whenever I used to race in a race series, I would always find a way to roll a car. And since in Forza 4, yep. there are many curves that I've rolled a car off, I kind of came up with the idea of what happens if I try and roll some very silly cars? And that was what, that's what the first episode was. It was a Chrysler PT Cruiser, a Lincoln, was it a Lincoln Continental and a Cadillac Eldorado. I think, were the first three cars that, that were ever rolled on a Will It Roll. And it was just a sort of a case of, can I roll these very silly cars? Uh, I then sent the video to the Machinima UK and they weren't interested in it, so it was never used on there. And then the video just sat on my computer for about three months, I think it sat there, uh, not doing anything. And then for a one long time. weekend, uh, yeah, I, I can't remember how long it was, but one weekend, I think it was a Sunday, I didn't have anything else sort of planned for that day. I thought, oh, well, I'll just upload it. Um, and everybody liked it, and it, yeah, went it had really, like really 6, well. It had like 6,000 views in the first day. Not quite that many. Um, well, not quite that had, many, but it had a hell of a no, lot. It had, for us at the time, it had a huge number of views and likes and everything. And I thought, oh, okay, people like that. Let's do more of that. Yeah, let's do more <laughs> of this. <laughs> and then now Will It Roll has become a weekly thing. Uh, I mean, we, we fairly regularly crash cars. I, we yep. are serious racers. We're good at that. Uh, that's kind of where, where we came from in terms of Forza. Uh, we are. I would say we are. We're not the best in the world at racing by any means. We're not going to top any leaderboards, but um, we are fairly competitive. We'd probably get in the top thousand if we really tried um, on most car and track combinations. But um, we do enjoy messing about. I do have a habit of finding places to roll cars, and I don't quite know why. And Daniel's vanished, which is uh, always concerning. I suspect something is broken. I'll just wait over here. So yeah, will it roll? It is complete and utter luck that that, that, that ever came about. Uh, never never was really planned 
as a, as a serious series. And I can hear Daniel's microphone is having all sorts of issues. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Stuff's it's happening. I couldn't hear you for like half a minute. <laughs> oh, the joys of trying oh. to do prolonged recording. Uh, anyway, yes. Yes, roll. I do apologize. Complete enough of fluke. Complete enough of luck that that ever that was ever released. Um, yeah, it could well have just sat on my computer for a long time, that. Uh, anyway, that is almost everything covered on the the history of First Gear. Now, ooh, a little lag going on there. Uh, one question I do get asked quite a lot, or I've seen it asked quite a few times when we're talking about this podcast, is will we ever do stuff on Forza Horizon? Will we do more challenges? Will we do more sort of versus the community on there? Um, the no. answer is... Uh, it's tricky. The problem is, I like well, there are challenges we could do on Horizon. We have done a few. I would like to do more. The problem is, there's no replay cameras. So much like you see here on Test Drive at the moment, the camera is basically restricted to the You're back of You're just filming the arson awesome McLaren. Yeah. Uh, well, you film in the back of a Mercedes, and you can sometimes see whatever car Daniel's driving. So if we do challenges like uh, the race to the festival one, you can I can only film one point of view because Daniel doesn't have a capture card at the moment. So when it came to the race to the festival one, we filmed it from my point of view. Daniel then tried his best he could to remember the route he took. We then went back. Uh, we kind of tried to remember what, what he did on his driving. And we went, then went, went back to filling the blanks. And re-recorded it, yeah. Of uh, what was going on from his point of view. It worked uh, all right, but it was time-consuming. Yeah, it worked all right. I mean, it's not completely completely genuine. When it comes to videos, I like to do absolutely everything genuine. We don't set anything up. Well, other than sort of challenges, we kind of we have an idea of a Most challenge. Most times, we'll just get there and go. Yeah, we don't like set something up. We don't plan how something's going to work. I wanted like to this. Be, we haven't planned where we're going. Yeah, I don't have a clue. We're just I'm driving, Daniel. Um, and for a lot of our challenges, <laughs> we don't know the outcome. I mean, I'll test a car maybe to make sure that it's actually usable, to make sure that it's actually drivable. But um, I want everything to be as genuine as possible. To to yeah, not be set up in any way. Oh, uh, that's oh, there's another tunnel. And that's why I, I liked that video. It was a great idea, but it would have been much better if Daniel had a capture card. But it would never have happened if uh, we'd been waiting for that. So, yeah, Horizon stuff is a little bit more tricky. Will we do a versus jump. community in it? Uh, we be, uh, not quite as big a jump. Oh, that's a big jump. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> will we do a versus the community? Probably not. The bigger issue than filming, I mean, we if we if I did a versus the community, it would be a Playgrounds game, because that's by far the most fun you could have in there. We have done a couple of videos on that already. I, we did a, a Playground game. That was fairly successful. Yeah, I mean, we may do one of them. The problem is that was as soon as Horizon came out. Yeah, it was very, it was fairly early on we did that. Uh, the problem with doing a versus community or anything there is that Horizon lobbies are restricted to eight players. While the connections are actually more reliable, I've never had a problem getting connected to a Horizon game. We can only have eight people at a time, which means that we'd have to have a lot more lobbies to get as many people in, or we just have to have less people um, because Forza we want as many people 16. as possible. And yeah, we, we try to get as many people involved uh, as we can. So we may do, I doubt we'll do a versus the community. We might at some point do another Heck playground yeah. games uh, mode because that's always good fun uh, on there. Uh, as far as challenges go, damn it. <laughs> well done. As far as challenges go, it's the same predicament as test drive. Uh, we might, when Daniel gets a capture card, do some stuff or if, if and when Problem Daniel gets then. a capture card. Um, because I've got absolutely atrocious internet, yeah, it's and I've been the atrocious, <laughs> it's then sending the file. I can't. Yeah. It probably, it probably would take. It probably would be quicker to send a five gig video, a five or whatever, how many megabytes on through the post on a memory stick to be than honest, sending it, it over it my would internet. It would be quicker for me to drive from my house to your house to pick it up on a flash drive and, and then drive go back, back again, um, because that's how slow his internet is. Um, so. Uh, as I would like to at some point in the future, hopefully. If but, I get um, fiber optic, yeah, if, with fast internet then, and with a capture card, then, then maybe that possibly, will happen. Possibly, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of some challenges that we may might be able to do where we don't end up kind of separating because the, the one the big advantage of having an open world thing is we can kind of do races where we take different paths and we use sort of interesting match up of vehicles and that kind of thing and we can't film that. Um, as as it is at the moment. No problem uh, is, I, and also because we live so far away. Yeah, um, we, you, like we can't record it in the, in the same room and everything. So, no, but if, yeah. if we become mega famous, then we'll just <laughs> and we'll have like a bajillion subscribers. Then we can like buy a that's a an massive interesting office. number. But um, yeah, for the moment, yeah, um, 
if I can think of any challenges that will work, that will be entertaining, like we did with the mountain climbing one. If I can think of challenges like that, I um, think or if you guys have suggestions for challenges you would like to see us do and that kind of thing. I think I said that yes in the video that goes out yesterday. Oh, this is very confusing. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> now, see, that's this a is a big drop. Um, let's go investigate. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, um, probably won't be doing stuff in Horizon and Test Drive, particularly if people really want to see us do the playground games again then uh, leave a comment and maybe Ooh. we will do another video on that. We found a castle. Uh, this is we're, we're in the wrong game. Uh, this was like Skyrim castle. <laughs> ah, ah, my car's not breaking. My car's not breaking. Oh my car's not... Oh. McLaren's gone to the seaside. Bye bye. Yeet. It's not gone yet. No, don't instant challenge you. No. <laughs> oh, good. Um, oh, bugger. I don't think I should go. I'm not going to investigate. Um, all right, so we've covered for... Oh, I'm made. There we go. I'm, I'm sorted now. Let's go back right. down the hill. We have gone uh, inadvertently mountain climbing with sports, uh, with supercars, in fact. But anyway, have we, have we covered that pretty much? I, I think we've covered all the Forza Horizon and Test Drive stuff. Okay, and uh, moving on to uh, I, vlogging. I saw this, yes, I saw this question. Uh, someone asked, uh, "Will we be doing more vlogging?" Um, me personally, probably not. Uh, this is as close to vlogging as I will really get. I mean. If we go to events, we're thinking of going to Auto Sports Show this year. Hopefully, uh, yes, that's, that's kind of that's kind of the plan at the moment. It's in January. I'm not quite sure of the date, but uh, yeah, we we are planning on going to that this year, uh, and there will probably be some sort of vlog uh, from that. Uh, if we go to events, then there will probably be a vlog made of it. It is the simple answer to that. I probably won't be doing much of it. I don't have a video camera. I might be able to borrow my sister's video camera for some stuff, but uh, I won't be doing vlogging. Also, I don't really see the point um, on the most part. Uh, this, this is as close as I'll get to vlogging. Uh, and Daniel, I presume it'll just be, if we go to an event, it'll make a video, pretty much. Yeah. Um, problem, problem with uh, that sort of stuff at the moment is, I have so much going on, I don't have, like, I've done I don't know, uh, this will Hopefully the vlog will be out before this, um, but I went to recently the Lotus Festival at Brands Hatch this year, and my mate was racing in it, and it was such a good event. But I've got so much on, I haven't been, I haven't had time to edit the video. Yeah, and because I, I have, uh, all I all I use is Windows Movie Maker, and it's one of the most atrocious <laughs> editing softwares on the planet. Yeah, and because of and it just can't takes send so much time to render to me, everything. And yeah, there's many many issues. Uh, with that, so uh, as far as vlogs go, but if, we'll if we both go to events like Autosport next year, I'm yeah. sure there'll be a video made out of it. I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah, that's the plan. And if we go to more there events, be. Next there should year, be. It just races. depends on what happens um, with with other things. Like I said, maybe Alex could borrow his sister's camera or something. But loads, that it could all change. Oh, the other's car there. Yeah, it could all change really quite regularly, yeah. which is what it normally uh, does. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it's going to work. Uh, will I show my safe, show my face in a video? Uh, maybe at some point. Uh, <laughs> that is the simple answer. Um, I don't know. I might do when I feel like it. Um, there you go. Now you can have people. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's your answer, right? Uh, I don't know. I just hate. Oh, oh, you've had a crash. I don't see the point in like putting a face cam or anything on a video that doesn't need it. Like on here. What's the point in having having a face cam? You're not going to yeah, gain anything. Yeah, I don't see the point in doing that sort of stuff. Um, on, on the most part for the videos. I mean, I am thinking of doing, um, as I said, a making of video. Maybe um, I, I will film myself then, but uh, probably not. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like the mystique as well, that nobody knows what you look like. Yeah, uh, I mean, we, like me and Alex may be seeing each other in September, uh, hopefully, and we may yeah, do something then. Maybe. It's like... I, when I, if I do a video, like I want there to be a, a purpose. I want there to be a point uh, to it. Yeah. I don't maybe just want to do a video for the sake of it. A pod. It, yeah, maybe like a um, a podcast special that we will actually maybe. record, d like maybe. Um, a rooster tea sort of thing. Yeah, poss that, that's, but that's it's a, a very, very vague option. Um, that will take a lot more technical knowledge um, than I currently have. So yeah, I mean, again, <laughs> there's, there's possibility on that one. Uh, one thing that I do want to. Just while we talk about vlogging, um, this is kind of uh, along the same lines. It is live streams. I am looking at um, trying some live streams, possibly. Um, and they're not going to be a regular thing because um, I'm not a huge fan of them necessarily. I like some videos don't necessarily like benefit from being live streamed at all. Um, but I'm, I'm 
thinking of doing some for like special occasions and that sort of thing uh, we might be doing some kind of special live stream events but again that's more kind of got to get everything set up to, to run that kind of uh, thing so yeah that's covered all of that um, yep uh, another question I, I saw this one and um, it is what is our favorite racing games of all time and also going to extend it a little bit to what is our favorite non-racing game as well so Daniel what's your favorite racing game um Forza no questions asked um <laughs> eh, okay no different fish hmm I'm gonna wait. are you going to I, like, do you want me to go first so you can think no, I, I've got, I've got, oh, it, I've got oh, it, I've got it here, I've got it here. I've got oh, it. you've got the answer. That's impressive. R Factor is my favourite racing game of all time because it is a racing game and nothing else, and it's so realistic, and it is probably the most realistic thing you'll ever get to driving the real thing. That's probably as close as you'll ever get, and that's why I love it because it doesn't focus on graphics, it doesn't focus on the scenery or anything. It just focuses on the driving. The, the driving style and how the car drives and how the car feels and that's what I love about R Factor Forza it's a simulation game but it appeals to everyone it appeals yeah. to everyone because of the customizability of, of, all, of everything you know I think that's all a new the stuff word, you can do customizability customizability is the word you're looking customization. for customization <laughs> that was it there we go. yeah it's just that sort of uh, that, how, how they've done it how Forza have done it how Turn 10 have done it is probably it's, it's probably one of the greatest achievements that they've managed to do. Is it's that they've the managed to make a game, a simulation game, but for everyone at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the the best overall uh, racing game. Yeah. There's great variety of cars, there's great variety of tracks. It's I would say it's fairly realistic. I mean, I haven't driven these supercars in real life. But uh, the <laughs> handling the handling models on them, I would say, are That's another bloody dead good. end. Uh, we got oh we've gone, to, we've gone to a house. Um, yeah, the, the handling models are pretty good. Let me in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, Forza is is a fantastic racing game. Uh, Gran Turismo Five. Uh, I know a Meh. lot of people. A lot of people will like that one. I haven't played it yet, although hopefully things might be changing in the future on that front. Uh, hey, uh, um, that spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I know Gran Turismo has more cars than Forza, but I know it doesn't have sort of as good a variety. There's like a billion skylines uh, to choose from. Oh, I hate <laughs> the point of that. I don't <laughs> see the point in the slightest. Yeah. I Again, I haven't played it. I can't sort of comment too much on Gran Turismo. So, How many cars yeah. does Gran Turismo have? Like think, over a thousand I think now. Gran Turismo have over a thousand, but only so many of them you can actually kind of customise yeah, and upgrade. Yeah, only 200 have premium things where you can actually get inside the cockpit. Yeah. And the rest are just GT4 imports. Yeah, and there's lots Why? of sort of similar cars. What is the point? Yeah, I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm sure it's still a very good game. Uh, I, can you paint cars on Gran Turismo? I don't think no, you can. No, you can't paint cars. Can't paint cars. Don't, well, don't quote me on that. But I've never seen a car painted on Gran Turismo. All right. Um, so yeah, I I haven't played it yet, but uh, I would say Forza. From what I've heard, Forza is probably a better all-round game. Although Gran Turismo does have some advantages. I believe it has better tyre wear. It has weather. Uh, has night and day races, but um, yeah, between them two, they are they are the best all round because they are more accessible. R Factor is fantastic simulation game. I know a lot of people go on about i racing being really good. The reason I hate i racing is because it costs so goddamn you pay much. Pay for everything. It's I had I had a two month free trial of it, um, and I gave it a go. The, right, the driving oh. wasn't really... Oh, well done. Uh, the driving wasn't really much more fantastic than R-Fact. And I, my steering wheel really didn't like working with it as well. I had loads of problems even getting my steering wheel to work. Um, yeah, the driving was very, very similar to R-Factor. Or at least it was to me, who hadn't played it for particularly long. I guess maybe if you're an ultra, ultra sort of uh, serious racer, you might start noticing differences. But uh, yeah, the, the handling was a huge amount of difference. And in the free trial, I had three cars, I had an MX-5, I had a stock car thing, and I might have had something, uh, some single seater open wheel thing, and it's like five quid for each additional car, and I think there's a monthly subscription as well uh, it's sort of five quid for each track well, maybe not quite that, I don't know the prices, I haven't seen them for a while, but if you want all the cars and all the tracks you are probably you looking spend at a lot of money it's probably a few hundred quid plus however much it is a month uh, and the online was unbelievably complicated 
I tried to do it on Mac on there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just so expensive. I'm sure it's a good game if you get the hang of all the online stuff and if you have the money for all the cars, but good God, it costs a lot of money. Uh, Project Cars, I will speak briefly on that. Fantastic looking game. The graphics on it are astounding. Um, as far as driving goes, again, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not quite R Factor levels, uh, but it's fairly, fairly good uh, game to look for the cars to drive on it. Um, the issue at the moment, there's not a huge variety of cars, is still in uh, beta or alpha, one of the two. It's still being made, so yeah, we can't really judge too much on that, but that has potential to be um, a, a very good game. Uh, as far as my favourite racing game goes, uh, ooh, that's a really tough one. I, <laughs> I'm torn between Need Speed Underground 2. That was a genuinely fantastic racing. I think it's the first. Was that the open first open world game? I on PS2? think uh, it's the first open world racing game. I'm not sure about other other sort of genres of games. I think it was the first open world racing game ever, and that is, it was an amazing game at the time. I mean, if you put it into your Xbox now, it does look a little bit old, but uh, <laughs> it was awesome though. And like the upgrading on the cars just make them look utterly terrible. But still, it, it was a it was a great it was a great fun game. Um, I'm torn between that and probably Burnout Paradise. I still think that's possibly the best racing. I, it's it's arcadey, yes, I know that. Um, not realistic at all, but it's well, so much another dead fun. End. Uh, oh God's sake! This is why we don't follow Daniel anywhere. Oh good lord! <laughs> oh well. We the hell nice, is it? Oh, it's car park. We found a nice picturesque car park. Um, yeah, so for me, it'd probably be Burnout Paradise. Uh, because that is really amazing. Although it is quite close between a number of games. PGR Fall could well be in there as well. Uh, what's your favourite non-racing game? We'll go on to that one. That's the more um, interesting choice. Oh, good lord. <laughs> favourite non-racing game. <laughs> uh, That's going to be an interest. Do you want me to go first again? Because you're probably going to have to... Go on then, you go first. Like you go first. Right. Um, for me, it's between two kind of game series. first one is Borderlands. The Borderlands games are incredible. Uh, they are Borderlands 2 especially is probably up there with Portal in level or Portal 2 in levels of just sort of funniness of the script. There's really well written. Uh, there's bits that will an there's a character that will annoy everybody. It'll be different for every every single person who plays it. We'll have a different character that annoys them. But somebody will annoy you, but so the rest of it's fantastic. <laughs> um, the DLC for Borderlands is amazing as well. They actually done DLC correctly rather than pay five quid for a couple of extra guns and a slightly bigger level and um, the, the DLC you get for it's huge you get whole new areas completely changed in how the game works it loads of new guns loads of new loot and um, that's the only time that I've really been happy to pay for DLC uh, because it's been yeah the DLC one is incredible and just in general the game's really really good um, the other one ooh, I like the the old like the original Tomb Raider games I played so much Tomb Raider, got stuck on it all the time. But uh, the, the original Tomb Raider games were very, very good. But uh, my other, my other favourite game is probably going to go to XCOM: uh, Enemy Unknown. It's a turn-based strategy game that's really very, very good. And if you haven't played it, I really recommend you give it a go because uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And the same goes to Borderlands as well. Uh, if you haven't played either of them games, you, you probably should. They're not so expensive now. You could probably get them for 10, 15 quid. Uh, and you've had another spin. Right, have you had yeah. enough time to think of your favourite non-racing game? I have, game? yes. Okay. Um, first one, I'm going to go between two as well. My first one that I uh, liked was Black, the old PS2 shoot 'em up game. I've never played Black. I've heard so many Have you never about played it? Oh my god. I watched Nerd Cubed play it. I played it ages ago. When, when, I, when I, I still have my PS2 with, I still have my PS2 up in the loft. Um, <laughs> with all my games, and Black was the one game I played all the time. And I watched it. I had I put it away, got my Xbox, and I just left it left it to gather dust. And then I watched Nerd Cubed play it, and I thought I need to play that again. So I got the I got the download for the Xbox. It costs some form of Microsoft points, but it is on Xbox um, Marketplace. So go download it. It's such an awesome game. And I played it and. I remembered how good it was, <laughs> and it was just such a good game. The storyline was just... it. The storyline was weird. It was really quite basic in a sense, right, this is your general objective, go do it. Go here, there wasn't any si Yeah, there wasn't any side missions, it was just, this is it, go and do it. Once you finish the game, do it again. 
And they, I, I used to time myself to see how quick <laughs> I could do the storyline, story mode. And, you know, you get people that can do it in some insane time. But it was just such a good game. And the gun noises. I mean, it makes Call of Duty sound like you're firing a water pistol. <laughs> it yeah, does. I, it's just a brilliant game. I might have to have a look. Uh, you're going to have to have a look because it's I'll such a... Anyone game. who hasn't played it, go and play it. Even if you don't like shoot em ups it's just... The, the, it immerses yourself. Even though it's an old PS2 game, it's not... The graphics aren't good by any means compared to modern games now. They're nowhere near as good, obviously. But it's... Oh, you've gone... You've got bored, have you? It's a long straight um, road. Yeah, so it's just... It immerses yourself in it, and it's so good. And it's just been done so well. So yeah, that was my first game. The second game is... I'm going to go with Assassin's Creed 2. I love enough. all of the Assassin's Creed. Creed's... Um, Assassin's Creed 3 I've been playing a little bit. It's alright. It's it's a decent storyline. But oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, well, I may have nice may have you. just spun you. <laughs> Good. I've covered it. Yeah. Right, okay. Yes, I was saying. Assassin's Creed 3. Really good game. Graphics are the best that have any Assassin's Creed ever. They're amazing. But I really liked Assassin's Creed 2. I feel they've got every, sing every single bit of that game absolutely perfect. Yeah. The, the Ezio was amazing, the characters were all amazing. I've played just an awesome game. I think I've played all the Assassin's Creed games, because uh, Kaylee likes them, uh, so <laughs> she has all of them. I've played most of them. I th Yeah, I would probably agree that the second is prob yeah, possibly the best. The problem with 3, I, I got bored of 3 before it ever really got going. It takes a year to start. You spend like two or three hours before you even get to play as the main character, and then you spend another two hours before you actually get to do anything cool. Um, it takes so long to get started. Uh, and I can't remember Brother was it Brotherhood and what's the other one? Oh, I can't Brotherhood remember. Brotherhood I liked, but there were just too many things. I mean, the whole being set in Rome thing, I really like that. That was a decent... That was a, um, a difference that I liked. It yeah, changed it for the be oh good god, that's a big jump. Jesus uh, Christ! Yeah, the, the, I, can't remember, I can't remember all the Assassin's Creed games, but yeah, Assassin's Creed Two was definitely a very good game, and it was at one point free to download on Xbox Live. It was their their games with gold so, uh, yeah. was going on. Uh, I, was, I really enjoyed that game. Yeah, yeah, the Assassin's Creed I enjoy that series as well. They're they're, they're pretty uh, pretty interesting games. I love the multiplayer on there. I, Assassin's Creed is not really supposed to be a multiplayer game. It's all about single player story and going around stabbing some NPCs. But uh, the online mode on there is <laughs> so much fun. Or at least the first time you play it, like the first few games, are, well, no, the first few games are terrible because you don't have a clue what you're doing. But um, once you kind of got the hang of it, uh, like the first time, the first real time you play it properly, it's amazing. I mean, by now you've kind of seen what the online is on it, so you know what to expect. But uh, it's such such a good online it thing. Was it's different. So tense. It was different, which is what I liked. Yeah, it was something different online, which is very rare these days. A lot of games just have generic deathmatch, capture the flag, capture an objective, uh, or in the case of racing games, go around a circuit. Um, <laughs> Demo, yeah. derby, tag the year. Maybe. Yeah, the, the kind of, the kind of all fairly, stuff. fairly kind of generic. I, I generic is probably a little bit unfair, but it's all fairly standard uh, when you go online for most games. But um, no, Assassin's Creed was fantastic online. Uh, and some people would probably disagree with me on that, that Assassin's Creed shouldn't really have online. But uh, you're wrong <laughs> on that occasion. <laughs> the, the online you're wrong, is, that's it. is really good. We are going to wrap this episode up now because... I think we're going to have to, otherwise my everything. internet will die. Yeah, everything has worked for 50 minutes. We shall finish with a tunnel! I love this. That's one thing I always like about Test Drive. They got the tunnel noises spot on. Yeah, they haven't quite got it. If anyone who's played Need for Speed... Uh, bye bye McLaren! Uh, anyone who's played Need <laughs> for Speed Most Wanted, the newest version of it, the tunnels on there are ridiculous. Uh, they make your car insanely <laughs> loud. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> tunnels are pretty good here. Anyway, there go, I've that recovered. is it. There's the McLaren. There it is. Uh, we're parking up to finish the episode. Come over here. We uh, we're oh, we're going to park in front of someone's house with the crashed car that you tried to kill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do apologise. Anyway, you can go apologise to the driver. Uh, bus, avoid the bus. Well done. Uh, anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Oh, so look at that. Thank you very much for watching. You only scraped my car minorly. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs>
Yes, thank you everybody for watching or for listening. If you're giving up watching the video, are we? It, we might try and put this in a podcast thing, a proper one, so people I don't can know watch, how that works. Can be able to just listen to it. I've no idea how it works, but we'll have to read up on that. Yeah, I might have a look. So yeah, so you can listen to just the audio version without without all the car noises and that kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure how that stuff works. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look into it for those who are, just as we finish the sun's coming up typical um, <laughs> anyway if you have questions and topics and that sort of thing you would like to hear us discuss then you can go to our forums we have a section for you to submit questions on we will have a look through and we will do a couple of them an episode um, depending on how off topic we go um, again link in the description you can go there you can submit questions I think it's under fail race official events there is a, a bit in there where you can submit questions and I think that is everything for today yeah uh, so uh, our cars are so damaged <laughs> we've <laughs> ruined two fairly cool supercars uh, and they're also very muddy uh, anyway until next time goodbye bye